hundreds of cataract surgeons are in Orlando this week sharing the latest in research. One of the most exciting innovations they're discussing launches Star Wars technology into the field of medicine. Barbara West is here to tell us more. Barbara? When you see some of the devices these eye surgeons use, you almost believe you've walked into the world of Luke Skywalker. But the lasers we associate with spaceships and weapons are now aimed at healing our eyes. That didn't hurt, did it? No, it didn't hurt. It took Dr. Wally Phillips just two minutes to operate on Pearl Granert's eye. I used the laser as we did. We've got to open up that little membrane. Oh. That membrane is deep inside Pearl's eye. It wrinkled after her cataract surgery. Oh. Using the YAG laser, Dr. Phillips vaporized a little hole in the membrane. Instantly, Pearl could see better, and she never felt a thing. Lasers treat a number of eye problems. This one works on a diabetic's retina. Lasers are not used yet to get rid of cataracts, but that's about to change. This is not yet available for human beings, but we've taken the first steps. Dr. Bath took that first step in Europe. Using the eczema laser, she removed cataracts from animal and donated human eyes. Within a couple of years, it should be ready for doctors to use on people here. She inserts a fine optical fiber into the eye through an incision only a millimeter wide. The eczema laser vaporizes the cataract, leaving its wrapper intact. That's important because that bubble-thin capsule helps the eye focus on objects near or far. Now doctors insert a lens like this, but the eye can't focus it because current methods still damage the capsule too much. So to read or see at a distance, cataract patients need glasses. Dr. Bath is paving the way for still another invention, to inject silicon into the eye lens capsule. That would give cataract patients 20-20 vision without glasses. The sky's the limit. You asked me when I was in my residency 18 years ago that I'd ever be doing implants or considering doing phacal emulsification or some of the laser work that I do today. Even in my wildest dreams, I would have thought you were crazy. I really would have. Now these surgeons are saying that's just the beginning. They foresee a day when they'll discover how cataracts develop and they'll be able to treat them without surgery, biochemically. And Bud and Marla, can you imagine the day when we'll be able to pop a pill to prevent cataracts from occurring? And you know, 95% of us are destined to get cataracts if we live long enough. So hmm. this is really good news indeed. Mm -hmm. Well, it's hard to believe what's happened in the last 10 or 15 years, so we can believe almost anything of the next 10 mm -hmm. or 15. Mm -hmm. Dr. Bath, uh, here, of course, is working on one specialized area of cataract surgery. Uh, yes, again, surgery. she's using the laser to remove the cataract, which is the lens inside of the eye. That lens is in a pocket, mm -hmm. that, that capsule. And more surgery, more research, rather, is being done to actually inject silicone into the capsule, which will then be able to focus the eye just as if it was your own lens. Now, she's doing this surgery in Europe. Why isn't she doing it here? She's an American. I spoke to several doctors there who are doing research, uh, and they said that Europe is much easier to do research because they don't have the heavy FDA controls that we have here in this country. However, if a doctor stumbles in doing the research in Europe, the medical profession is very likely to come down hard on that doctor. The politics of medicine. Oh, sure. Police their own. Terrific. Mm -hmm. Thanks.